the risks of hormonal contraceptives are too numerous to mention. These next slides list many of them, and I will mention a few. The first risk is that the steroid hormones compromise the immune system, and when this happens, it makes a woman susceptible to risk from all sorts of other diseases. Her immune system is just not as strong as it should be, and that puts her at a greater risk for some types of cancer. There is a 50% greater chance of breast cancer in women aged 15 to 40. Breast cancer is the most common female cancer. One out of eight women develop breast cancer. So a 50% increase is a big deal. There is also a greater chance of cervical cancer and liver tumors. Depo-Provera, the 13-week shot, increases the woman's risk of osteoporosis, or weak bones, which results in more fractures in later years. Blood clots. I need to spend a minute on blood clots. Blood clots can kill and cause lifelong disabilities. Steroid hormones cause blood clots. They start in the leg and can end up in the lungs and sometimes the brain. They can paralyze and kill. Hormonal contraceptives can also impact a woman's reproductive organs, cancer of the cervix, vagina, and uterus, as well as endometriosis, and increased risk of STIs are possible side effects. NuvaRing is the hormonal releasing ring inserted in the vagina. UvaRing's early promotion was, you put it in and forget about it. Sounds simple and uncomplicated, right? Well, NuvaRing has been sued for death and disability in thousands of lawsuits. Vanity Fair magazine, certainly not a Catholic publication, ran a good article in January of 2014 entitled, Danger in the Ring, which they termed the killer inside you. You should Google that article. A few other side effects worth mentioning are bleeding irregularities, ovarian cysts, which can cause infertility even after a woman stops taking the contraceptives, increased blood pressure, migraine headaches, increased weight, and we don't know what else yet. At some point, maybe 10 or 20 years from now, medical researchers will do retrospective studies on today's adults and adolescents and compare the health and diseases of those who had LARCs implanted and those who did not. But for those risks and later discovered diseases, it will be too late for women taking hormonal contraceptives at this time. It is also very important to stress that there is no need for an adolescent to take the pill or any other hormonal contraceptives to help regulate her cycle. Using these drugs will only delay the onset of regular cycling years and have unwanted side effects. Because of the irregularities of many young women's menstrual cycles, there is a great desire to just know when the next period will begin. Well, there is a much more natural way to know this. Furthermore, any menses which are still irregular beyond two years of gynecological age raise suspicion of PCOS, and hormonal contraceptives would make a proper diagnosis impossible. Sterilizations. We don't spend much time on sterilizations. However, even with sterilizations, there can be a typical use pregnancy rate of close to one half of 1%. One 